Hello everyone, this is Karen from Mafong, your Agile Evangelist and welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited to announce to you all that I am going to be starting a series on ADO, that is Azure DevOps, which is a Microsoft tool that organizations use to track the progress of their work and manage issues. And um, the substitute of these tools that are commonly known, you also have Jira, you have Rally, you have um, version one, you have monday.com. So it's a similar tool for those who are not familiar with Azure DevOps. So most organizations that I've worked with, either they are using um, Jira or they're using Azure DevOps or they're using Rally. Those are the common ones that you typically hear of. I know that there is a lot of content out there on Jira, but not too much on Azure DevOps and which is why I'm creating this video. So if you're a project manager, a scrum master, an agile coach, a delivery manager, a product owner, um, a release training engineer, a program manager, portfolio manager, if you fall among this category, then this video is for you. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscription button and the notification bell so that as we continue in this series, you will not be missing out on anything because I'm going to be giving a simplified step-by-step -step guidance on how to use this tool so that you can better serve your teams to for them to be able to stay organized, be able to manage the progress of their work and track issues and report all in one place. So, um... As we get started today, our focus is going to be to first install this um, Azure DevOps on our computer, and then we're going to be creating a brand new project. So thank you so much, and let's dive in. So let's get started. So like I said earlier, the goal for today is to help you understand how to create a brand new um, project in Azure DevOps depending on whether it is a scrum project whatever i want to create but our focus is going to be on scrum projects so that's the goal for today and how to get into this azure devops tool please check the description box i've attached a link there that should take you to azure devops um, um tool and then you can download a free version from there that is if you don't already have the tool installed in your computer so yes it's you can get an absolutely free version very easy so please check that description box for the link all right let's assume that you have installed you've downloaded and installed your azure devops tool on your device the very first thing you would want to do is to create a project how do you create a project come on this button to what you're right here. This tool is as easy to use as ABC, to be honest with you. And I'm saying this not to already say that, oh, if you don't know it, then something is wrong with you. No, it's to say that you should ease your mind because this tool is easier to use than using your mobile phone. That is based on my, my, in my opinion. All right. So click on this new project button on your right, right side. And then all you have to do is just fill it out. The project name, what is the project name? ADO. Um, tutorial. All right. All right, a tutorial and then the description, I'm not going to worry about it. We want to select a private project because we don't want our project to be public, which means that anyone on the internet should be able to get into it. No, we want a private project and then click advance. So just select the option you want here. For me, whatever is here is fine with me. Um, whatever I see is fine with me. Team foundation, I want the git control and scrum. Let's create a Scrum project. All right, click the Create button. If you, wish, you have your project right here. Isn't that amazing? This is your project. So now, the next thing that I need you all to know before we wrap it up for today, how do you maneuver yourself through this? You see this top area? just like any website you visit 
this is where you would find the main the options to do whatever you want to do or play around it and then on the left side is where you would find everything you need to play around and learn as you go that's the next thing i need you all to know and then how do you add team members to this brand new project you've created you see this invite button here click on this invite button and then here you can add your team members but mind you before adding team members through that button you must have already um given them access to this tool and then because their name is already in your system no so yes you have to be sure that your their name is already in your system and then you can now come here and find them you see so that's how i can easily add this person that's it um yes so this other person too is already in our system because the person works for a company see so that's how you add your your team members to this project so you're adding the people that you want them to have access to this project all right so that is it um now how do you find the projects that are already in this particular azure devops tool because you know in every organization it's not only your project they are working on you people may be working on so many different projects so how to find to see all the other projects that are in this tool or that are currently ongoing you click on this logo azure devops here click on it and you should be able to see all the projects that are in your organization see these are the project listed in our organization for the sake of this <laughs> walkthrough i'm doing yeah so now you just have to select the projects that you are working on your team is working on so in our case it's ado tutorials this is the project right here you see all right from here i would like to just show you do some quick walkthrough to show you your board and everything else so you see this is a quick um guide for you to see whatever you want to do as well what services would you like to start with? I want to start with boards. That's what I want to start with. So I've clicked the boards. Now it has taken me to a board. But as you can see, um, there is no item in here because we haven't created any. So also, if you click on this boards here, this is your, your scrum board right here. So this is actually your sprint backlog. You can call it sprint backlog. You can call it scrum board. So once you create a project, all of these different things are set up for you by default. So this is your sprint backlog. I should never call it board. This is your product backlog. Let's click on the product backlog and see. As you can see, there is nothing in the product backlog yet because we have not created any user story yet. And then to see your sprints. This is where you see all the sprints that you've already completed and the one that is in progress in your in, on, on this project. But as you can see, there is nothing yet because we've not completed any sprints yet. And then, yes, so the delivery plan. So this is where you can see your delivery plan. You see, oh, yeah, so you want to call it release plan. This is where you can find that. Yeah, so these are the key functions. And then let's check on what items yeah so as you can see the board is still brand new nothing in it yet because we haven't put anything yet in it so you see this overview this overview if you if you um kind of highlight it you will see you can see your dashboard from here but if you click on the dashboards the same we've not we've not configured our dashboards here so everything is still pretty new so yes as we proceed in this program on this series we will be touching on all this functionality step by step because that's what you need to know as a scrum master or project manager for you to be able to successfully help your teams. These remaining ones like repos, pipelines, test plans, for the most part, are not yours to worry about. That is really for the developers to worry about, not you. Okay, so yes. That is not yours to worry about. Your key things that you should worry about is the overview here and this board that you have all these different functionalities, which is what we're going to be touching as we proceed in this program. So, yes, that is it for today. And in our next class, we will learn how to create work items, you know, starting from our delivery plan, our product backlog, breaking things down until it finally gets into the sprint backlog and the rest. All right, so that's it for today. 
I hope this was helpful and hope to see you in our next video. Thank you so much and talk to you later. Bye.